Hey, good morning, Bulldogs. Are you ready for some more math on the farm? Um, I was so blown away by how many students sent me emails, showed their work from the last video, that I could not just have one winner or the first person to give me the answer uh, for a prize. So what I'm going to do is I took all of your names and I'm going to put them in a drawing and uh, I am going to draw out a few names for some winners. Um, here once I get back into the office at school. But we are coming to you with some more math on the farm, and I've got two math problems again for you, but I uh, wanted to just have you say hi to my goat. There's Gus. He's a little bit of a rowdy goat. Um, but anyways, uh, stay tuned for some your math on the farm questions. Hey, I am out here just walking my cows out to pasture. They're waiting for me to open up the gate here. Anyways, I got me thinking this morning on this rainy day. I wonder if my animals would like to wear mud boots. I'm wearing my mud boots. And so it got me thinking, how many mud boots would I need to buy for all my animals? So as you can see, I've got five cows here. I've got seven sheep. I've got two horses one silly goat, eight chickens, two dogs, and two cats. That's a lot of animals. So for the younger students, my math on the farm question for you is how many mud boots would I have to buy in order to get them on all of my animals? Now for you older students, here's your math question. A uh, little bit of a research project and kind of a silly one. Talking about mud boots got me thinking about toes. Toes as in on people's feet. Kind of a silly thing that we have. But it made me wonder, how many toes do my animals have? For example, our horses, they only have one toe on each leg. We call it a hoof. But not, not all hooved animals have just uh, one hoof. So. I want you to think about all of my animals that I just gave you. Five cows, seven sheep, two horses, one silly goat, eight chickens, two dogs, and two cats. And tell me, tell me how many toes do all of them have? When you think you've got the correct answer, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments below or shoot me an email. So good luck, older students, on that math slash little bit of research. All right, I'm going to get out of the rain.